There we go. I think it's working. It's yeah. working, darling. Is your microphone working? Hope Is it so. in sync? Hope so. Turned on. I've got a green light. I have just looked and I see Alex Belfield's YouTube channel is still there. Is it? Yeah, I've just looked. I don't it's, follow him. I don't. I had to look it up. I'm not subscribed. Well, he'll have a, he'll have a bit of a wedge to come out to then, won't he? All the money he's been making. Oh, I don't know. That wasn't really my point. Or And before anyone asks, I'm not pro-Alex Belfield and I'm not anti-Alex Belfield. I'm absolutely all at sea with this. I don't understand the justice system at all. How is it that he's just been sent to prison for five and a half years for the, the um, conviction, correct me if I'm wrong, is stalking and harassment and some guy nearly killed himself. But his YouTube channel's still there. But Yankee Wally's was taken down for nobody. We still don't know for what reason. And she's never been given an explanation. So how is that? Where's the balance of that? Is there not disparity there? Don't you well, think? Well, maybe he didn't do it on his YouTube channel. Maybe he did it. No, I think he did. I've been watching lots and lots of videos this morning, and I think he did. So your question is, why hasn't his channel been taken down? Yeah, and it's not just that. Just in very quick summary, as I've mentioned before, we've had these um, two lunatics on our case for nearly... Th it will be 13 years in January, won't it? They um, killed one of our family pets. I'll just keep the story short here. There's all videos on my channel explaining in more detail. Killed one of our family pets. They actually kidnapped two of our cats and, and killed one. Uh, set fire to the back of our house. Um, bribed bullies to put our nine-year-old son in the bin upside down. I mean, there was a whole host of other things in between as well. And every time we called the police, they just said, no, that's fine, that's normal. But Alex, and I'm not diminishing anything that is, uh, or the impact on his victims, I'm not into an Alex Belfield thing. I'm not a fan or not a fan. But how can the police act on something like that and the guy goes down for five and a half years when all those things have happened to our family over nearly 13 years? And I mean, thank God none of us got suicidal, not even the kids. It's incredible what we've taken. We've got homicidal, past. not suicidal. <laughs> yeah. I've had to stop Graham a few times and he's had to stop me. Go, no, don't do that. That's not the solution. But I mean, fucking hell, can anyone explain that to me? And, and it's not just the police in this area, the area where we've lived. I mean, the police have never helped me. Not one single time in my life. It's because they don't like you. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think they, there's a lot of people out there. They're actually quite bloody useless i know they are after the event type people like you've been burgled you call the police they turn up what can they do really a few fingerprints check for cameras but i mean i I've, they've always always given me the impression it's not a big deal stop making a fuss uh and yet this is a big well big thing. when you think about it when that tattooed fella came and oh, threatened yeah, to cut your throat mm. and yours but, and sam's and ends it was alleged that one of our company staff called a member of the other company staff the n-word no 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 that was a totally separate occasion that was a different yeah, member of staff he went to the he went to the police and the police turned up with a van and about eight coppers came come and they seized him mm. on the spot and arrested him and took him to the police station and he was charged he had to go to court and argue his case i thought well hang on he called someone the n-word right that's more serious than threatening to cut someone's throat because that's okay. He didn't actually. He, he used the Spanish word fatiga, and the guy um, was English and didn't speak any Spanish. Anyway, he was found not guilty, wasn't he? he was it Indian? He was, yeah. He was of Indian origin, and the whole thing was quite ridiculous. It was, it was a sort of a yeah, yeah, trumped up thing. It's but... the response I'm talking about yeah. here. Yeah, exactly. Someone threatened to cut my throat. Oh, so what? We can't do anything about that. Oh, someone yeah. called me the N-word. Oh, did he? Right, well, we'll fly down there yeah. with the flying squad and we'll nick him now. I mean, it, I agree with the N-word thing. that they, they act. But why do they not act on sort of what I'd call traditional... Like death threats and yeah, death violence threats, and violence. stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the things that have happened to us. And the other thing is, I've watched loads and loads of videos um, from all sorts of people I've never heard of before. And I've been reading their comments. And a lot of people who absolutely hate Alex, I mean, it's clear from their comments, they hate him. They are big into calling other people names and 
really bad behavior themselves. And I think, well, you're behaving like a troll, which isn't that what Alex just got sent to prison for, which you're happy he was sent to prison for, and yet you feel it's okay yeah. to behave in the manner for which he apparently was, whether he was or not. So at what point do you cross from being the good guy to the bad guy? Well, I'm finished talking about him because there's nothing else to well, say. Well, I'm not really but talking I mean, about Alex. He's no. an example. He's one example. I'm talking about people's behaviour on the internet. Now, me, my name's Fiona Hesketh. I live in Spain just across the border from Jib, and I work at the Dolphin Safari. Can't get much more transparent than that. Everybody knows who I am. I'm not an anonymous keyboard warrior. Neither are you, Graham. We're right here. We're right here. Yeah. Um. So when we talk about things, we talk normally like... I like your dress. Oh, yeah. Got this from Amazon. Oh, you got rather, matching shoes as well. I'm pleased with this because I got this for my... Um, it's a Christmas dolphin safari party coming up soon, isn't it? We normally do it in uh, October, November, end of the season. I'll have to order my outfit. <coughs> what are you going to wear? I don't know. I'll surprise you. Oh, okay. You don't normally dress up, do you? Us mm. girls do, but the fellas don't. Something uh, something different, I think. And my red sparkly dress, that was 85 quid, and that was about four years ago. This was 30 quid. Was it? No, it wasn't. No, this was 20 quid. The shoes were 30 quid. So 50 quid all in total. So I think I've done quite well this year on budget. It'll be something dashing and brave, of course. That I'm going to wear, or you? No, me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always well, we know what you're going to wear. Well, I might wear this, or I might wear the red sparkly one again. I don't know. And then we've got the Christmas yeah, you've lights. Done that. You've so done that before. You've done that before. We get some new pajamas. Need to get Christmas a few night. different ones for Christmas because we're going to do loads of lives over. It's Christmas. a genuine question of mine to your viewers. Yeah. Um, how is it okay, child abuse, arson, and murdering pets? How is that yeah. all okay? Can anyone justify to me? That the, because I do see red over this, I really do. Because these these episodes have been mm. over thirteen years, so I do appreciate Alex's as yeah. Alex as an example, his victims as an example. I do How come Jimmy Savile never got lifted? Well, and his collar felt. I don't know. And Peter Ball. He did. He did. He, he did, did in the end. He, he did. did in the end. But Jimmy, but I don't know. Not for many many years later. I've said many times, Jimmy gave me the creeps from when I was a kid. I didn't like him. I didn't like him. I loved his show. I loved the idea of being dreams come true and all that, but I didn't like him. He gave me creeps as a kid. But no, I mean, it is strange. Some people are just allowed to get away with what they like. Yeah. And other people are sort of hold over the coals. That's not to say Alex didn't do the wrong thing and deserved Whatever. Maybe they were all Freemasons or something in some sort of club. I don't you know. know. No, I think they were. I'm not having a go at Freemasons, by the way. I think they were DJs. They were working in as, a, you know, it was a thing. It was some sort of public thing. But I'm sure there are other victims of crime out there like us where the police go, well, it's nothing we can do. It's, or it's, can't you just let it go? Which, yeah, we have let it go because what else can you do? But it does make me see red. And, and then. He's been sent to prison. Presumably, he's feeling a bit pissed off and depressed. I mean, you've been inside. I would I've been inside. So, yeah. uh, I know what it feels like. <laughs> you know what it feels like. You don't know because. So, but there are oh. people. There are people on the internet who are still like, "No, more, 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 more. Let's punish him more." You know. And at what point do they go? Okay, fair enough. You've got five and a half years time to move. They won't. The Angerman Flogging Brigade want to want them all flogged and shot outside the crematorium. I've said yeah. this before. No getting through to them. They're just Nazis and As Nazis. As if they've never just... sinned themselves in life or done yeah. anything wrong, because I've done plenty. Yeah. The pious the pious saints out there. The huffers and puffers. <laughs> but I just can't square it up. Maybe any police officers out there watching. That would be really useful. You might be able to raise my my level of opinion of the police. Cause my, my opinion of the police generally is pretty low. I've known, that's not to say I've known some sterling coppers, but they're, they're outnumbered. I, but I, laziness, I, normally I find, is laziness. I think the police service has gone up over the years because back in my day when I was young, they were proper hooligans, the police, and they're just like they were dead rude to you all the time. Whereas now they're really, really polite, I've noticed. They are. Well, they were when we were in the UK. Super polite. When we were in the UK, but you're going back 12, 13 yeah, years yeah. So now. So I'm not up to no, speed. I don't know. Don't know what it's with like procedures now. and things, but 
but yeah, they were very, very polite when we moved back to Brighton. They were yeah. very correct. But um, I, I still don't understand how police officers can say, well, there's nothing I can do. And yet for something I consider yeah. online bullying is awful. And there was this 14 year old girl apparently who killed herself. And that's absolutely fucking disgusting. That is terrible. And the per people of persons responsible for that, yes, they go should go to prison. But a kitten is murdered. A house is set. I mean, we were at sea on the dolphin boat when some, someone phoned us up. Our lad was at home. Our house is on the beach. This mate of mine phoned me up and said, Fiona, is anyone in your house? Because it's on fire. And I was like, oh, my God, Benji's home. He's 14. And we were at sea and we could see the plumes of smoke. Lucky it wasn't actually our house. It was the back of our house. We know exactly who did it. I mean, they're, they're maniacs, these people, aren't they? Well, it wouldn't be him. It would be his henchmen. Mm, yes, they, they're, yeah, they're proper narcissistic Henchmen on the payroll. Yeah. So, but why is it that nothing ever happened? Like, for example, Meghan Markle. Why is it she never suffers any consequences? And yet other people who've done much less, seem to suffer greater yeah, if, if, if you were a, If you were a lady or a, a duchess and you went to the police station and said, excuse me, constable, this has happened, yeah. they'd be, oh, mum. They'd know come what? running out and they'd be doing everything for you. Do you know what? That's I bet just... if you even help you change your wheel, you've got a puncture. That you've just reminded me of something, actually. That's true. That's true. Isn't that ridiculous? Um, I wanted to get my phone line put back on and I owed money to the phone company. And he, uh, the fellow was dead rude to me. I can't remember if it was British Telecom or one of those 9X ones. Anyway, he said, uh, what's your title? Meaning, are you Miss, Mrs, Mr, whatever? And I, I just heard the word title and I said, oh, lady, just for a laugh. And he went, oh, oh, lady what? So I just made a name up. I said, oh, well, lady, lady Alison something. I won't say what my full name was. <laughs> oh, he put my phone on. There was no problem there. Straight away. Yes. Sick so offence, isn't it? Is society built that if you have any influence, you are a celebrity, you are have any money about you, anything about you, the police, you say jump, they say how high. But if you're an ordinary Joe like us, you, right on the bottom rung, they're just like, <laughs> get bent, get bent. I've got time for you. Go away. And I do find it incredulous, the disparity in the way that the police act. Because I, I personally, my personal experience, I've never had a good experience. I'm not including getting nicked because obviously that's not a good experience. But I mean, as a victim of crime and I've had plenty of things have happened. They're absolutely bloody useless in my experience. And yet this, I mean, the tremendous effort that went into this. Yeah. And it, do you think that will stop trolling or set an example to other people to prevent them from I doing think it will send shockwaves down the... Um down the troll network and they realise if they go too far they can actually be plucked out of the squat and dropped disagree. in prison. I um, have to disagree. I think they'll be a lot more careful. I do. Unless they're completely stupid. Well, I'll tell you why I have to disagree because of comments I've read in the last 24 hours on other people's YouTube videos. Some people are heavily in favour of Alex and they are their comment. the comments on there viciously attack the person who's in favour of Alex, yeah. and others are very much against Alex, and they're viciously equally attacked. So, no, I, d I have to disagree. I don't think anybody. It would be interesting anything. to see some statistics about how many people have been sent to prison for um, Hello, Kitty. saying things on the internet or down a phone. Hello. You know? Down the phone, that's a bit of an old fashioned thing, isn't it? You know, the old heavy breathing. Misuse of a <coughs> public yeah. telecommunication system. It is a criminal offence. Look it up. Yeah, and if you anyone, ring someone up and give them a load of abuse, you can go to prison. If anyone goes and has a look on my channel, if you look at my videos and you scan down, you'll see one of a very, very nasty-looking pig. It's had it, it's a dead pig's head with the mouth stitched. Mm. And if you go on that video, that is a troll video I downloaded from Twitter, which was all about me and Yankee Wally. And Twitter think that's fine. They think that's lovely. That's just a work of art. That can stay. That's no problem. So that's just a more, more recent example. That's nothing to do with our personal psychopaths. That's just generally trolls on the internet. But you guys go and have a look at that and tell me, do you think that's okay? Is that okay to have a video like that? And Twitter won't do anything about it. And there are mm -hmm. similar videos on YouTube and YouTube won't do anything about it. And as I say, Alex's channel is still there. But Yankee Wally, who's never been given an explanation, her channel was taken down. 
because I don't know, she said something about Meghan Markle. My, uh, her thing was, she said Meghan Markle was never pregnant. She had a cushion stuffed up her jumper, you know, moon bump. And uh, she'd been doing that channel for about four years, suddenly got taken down. So I can't, there's such a disparity for me. I don't understand yeah. it at all. It seems all cockeyed, upside down and fucked up, left, right and centre. Yeah. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? That there's rules for some people and other rules for others. Or if you tow a political, particular political line, you get a free card. And if you tow another line, you don't. Mm. And that, that is coming from me, a hard Ramona. For example, I, I'm not a fan of uh, Katie Hopkins. I don't like Katie Hopkins. But I know she's got a YouTube channel and I watched um, one of her videos. I listen to her sometimes. Yeah. I mean, I I would never. Yeah. She said she had some people who went to her house or something to cut her head off. I didn't know about that. That's absolutely bloody outrageous. I would never wish that on Katie, but no. she's not my, she's definitely not my cup of tea. I'm more left wing. I'm a <laughs> Ramona. Um, I was watching Matthew Steeples says he's friends with Gina Miller. Do you remember Gina Miller who brought the court case in Brexit? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> he said someone had, I don't know, some Lord Lady or something had threatened her and he reckons they, they went to prison. Um, so I'm, we're not like, typical are we of some people who are well in favor of brexit or maybe right wing and yet even we can see something cockeyed and fucked up is going on something funny is happening and it will come for everyone i heard katie hopkins say that and she said you know some people are feeling victorious and, and yeah i understand they do but she said there will come a day when it will close in even on the the people who are the most liberal look at holly willoughby and Phil, what's his face? I can't remember. <coughs> I think she's resigned from that Good Morning program now over some funeral queue, dude. It's oh, been yeah, savagely they, attacked. They savagely jumped, attacked. They, well, they jumped the queue, didn't they? Apparently not. But ITV reckon not. I don't know. <laughs> I, it's not a story I followed again. They they were sent down there to report on it. They weren't even in the queue. Or maybe right. they were in the queue. I don't know. There's a petition. What? But well, even uh, yeah. Holly, the good clean squeaky holly holly schofield that's it philip schofield even the, those two squeakies are now themselves becoming victims of cancel culture social media outrage and trolling <laughs> it happens anyway i've got things to do i've got things to get on with yeah, i've got to fix the roof <clears throat> yeah she's gonna fix the roof in her stilettos note that i'm gonna fix the roof <laughs> Lovely shoes, darling. 